Hello, my name is Brenda Ridgely. I am the connection connoisseur. I'm a girlfriend guru of sorts, and it's my mission to help women connect in a deeper, more meaningful way because I believe that connection is the key to our joy and happiness. My intention for this channel is to share the research on the loneliness epidemic that we are facing as a country today. We're gonna to differentiate the many kinds of friends that you may have and friendships and how to make the most of each of those kinds of friendships. Also, I'll be sharing tips and tricks to enhance your current girlfriend relationships and provide an actionable plan to find more girlfriends worthy of your tribe. And most importantly, I wanna help you build a tribe-like culture for you and your girlfriends a group that will support each other throughout life you know, for the many ups and downs that we all go through. Can I ask a favor real quick? Would you please press subscribe on the button below? I would just love to connect with you each week and share tips and tricks and see your comments and have a real conversation here. If you like what you see and what you hear, would you please share it with a friend? Today, I'd like to start by asking you a few questions. Is your schedule maxed out with responsibility, to-do lists, events, etc., and somehow you feel like something is missing? Are you a key player in other people's lives, like your kids and your spouse and your boss, and you find that you have little time to pursue your own interests and recreation? Has social media or social distancing been a factor in the declining time and energy that you're able to dedicate to your friendships? Would you like to build stronger, more meaningful relationships with a few close friends? If you answered yes to any of these, this channel may provide you with valuable content on your journey to wholeness. For those of you out there who've been a wife and mother for a while, you may be able to relate to the silent epidemic that is, literally, letting ourselves go. Now I'm not talking about that weight gain that we all experience or embracing that makeup free natural look or even wearing yoga pants seven days a week, although I have been there and done that. <laughs> what I am talking about is that many of us have allowed our preferences interests and individuality to slowly slip, slip away over time until we no longer even recognize ourselves. Or maybe you're a career woman. You work from dawn until dusk and can hardly remember to take a bathroom break, let alone fill your own tank. You can, you can hardly help yourself from checking that email right before you go to bed. And taking a call from a client on a Sunday afternoon, that happens all the time, that's normal. Your personal time for exercise, reading, and relaxing regularly gets bumped for your business's needs. Who you are has become what you do. And my dear, you are so much more than that. Whether you're a wife, a mother, or a professional, like, or like many of us, all three, you likely have a maxed out schedule and often find yourself feeling overwhelmed yet empty. You are on the treadmill of life, running from one task to the next, and you feel like you're going nowhere. How does one reclaim who they really are and fill this empty space that has kind of appeared from nowhere? About five years ago, I went through this identity crisis myself when my oldest child was going into his senior year and gonna be heading off to college soon. You know, my daughter was soon to follow suit shortly after, and I just realized my life as I knew it and loved it was about to end forever. <laughs> At the time, the thought was almost terrifying. And for the next year, I resisted this inevitable outcome as I desperately created and clung to every moment I could. I planned family getaways. I celebrated every last as, it was, as if it were my own grand finale fireworks show. Who was I going to be without my dominant role, my title, my label, mom? 
What happened to me? Where did I go? You know, back in the day, I had a very active social life. I played recreational sports, which always ended with the gang meeting up at our favorite hangout for a cocktail catching up. I had hobbies and traveled with friends. I learned to scuba dive. I enrolled in ex regular exercise classes. And I put scrapbooks together of all of my adventures. <laughs> I worked in corporate America and enjoyed regular lunch dates with colleagues and weekly happy hours. With the many blessings that came with getting married, having children, and raising a family, I hardly noticed as these activities and gatherings slowly disappeared. They were slowly being replaced by playdates, class projects, and kids' sporting events. Our children became the sole provider of our entertainment and took that budget as well. My personal friendships became the casualty of a busy life. And as much as I loved my friends, when it came to my priorities, they hardly made the list more. On the occasion when we would connect by chance, just bump into each other, we would exclaim, how could it have been so long? And we promised we would get together soon, but then we hardly ever would. My friendships lacked their own allowance of time, energy, and consistency to build the depth that it was required to keep them growing. That was all on me. I am so grateful to have had a few friendships in my life at that time that somehow weathered this storm, but I realized that those friendships had been neglected. If any of this resonates with you, please comment below. You may want to share this video with a girlfriend or two with whom you'd like to reconnect or grow closer. So I decided that these women were so important to me in my life and I needed them now more than ever. I committed to intentionally connecting on a regular basis. I started by immediately reinstating our monthly girls night out that had experienced a six year hiatus. Next, I organized an annual retreat so together we would have something to look forward to and also have some concentrated tribe time that year. And lastly, I made an effort to see my friends individually on a more regular basis. I would find out what's happening in their lives and I would share more in depth about what was happening with mine, even the not so fun stuff. So as these connections were fortified over the next few years, this companionship and a sense of belonging eased the sting of my chicks launching into their adult lives. And it helped me launch into the next chapter of mine as well. I recently wrote a book called Lady in the Tribe, inspired by these events and in honor of my besties who I call tribe. I wanted to share my journey and help women connect on a deeper, more meaningful level with other women. I am compelled to help women fill that sense of dissatisfaction in their otherwise picture-perfect life. As I mentioned before, I believe that connection is key to becoming whole. Our friendships can enrich our lives in so many ways and make us better equipped to give back and make a difference the way we want to. Lady in the Tribe is about the woman and her inner circle of friendships. Our best friends see us more clearly than we see ourselves and our representations and extensions of our own individuality. They are our companions, our cheerleaders, our counselors, and they are always in our corner. They are the branches of our individual tree of life and they, that lifts and that supports us so that we can flourish. They call us on our crap when we get off track and when they say we, it means you too. Tribe is the family with whom we choose to live our life with no strings attached. We are not bound by blood, vow, or finance, or even a contract. We are selected, handpicked, and chosen by our friendships. Lady in the Tribe is a blueprint for building deep connections. It shares why we are more disconnected than ever as a society and how to turn it around. The book discusses the many levels of friendship identifies the benefits and sets expectations for each group. 
It shares not only how to find new friendships, but also provides tips and tools to nurture and deepen existing friendships and create that tribe-like culture. Ladies, we can become whole again through connection. Over the next weeks and months, I'll be sharing friendship strategies and inspiring stories of connection. Whether you already have a strong friendship or many, or you're starting from scratch, I invite you to join me each week. Every one of us can become a better friend and build connections that will support us throughout our lives. Lady in the Tribe will be available on Amazon and at bookstores early this fall. Might I suggest it as a good excuse to get the girls together for a book club? <laughs> if you would like to learn more and get updates, please visit ladyinthetribe.com. There you can sign up to start your own tribe inner circle and receive weekly tribe building tips. Subscribers will also be invited to the private book launch party in the works for early this fall and I would love to see you there. Thank you so much for joining me today. Once again, please hit that subscribe button below for a new episode each week. Together, we can create a community of tribe across the globe. When three or more gather, we are tribe.